Can you repeat that one? Yeah, how, how is the atmosphere in the team right now? And also, how big is the motivation for the game in San, in San Antonio? Uh, we came in and had a, a good productive practice. Um, went over a few things defensively. Um, got a lot of shots up, but uh, we came in with a, you know, get your work, in, get your work done attitude. And uh, that's, that's how we want to approach every day. So uh, that was... That was the mindset today, and um, as far as as far as our approach to the next game, um, it's the same approach as every game. We want to come in, we want to we want to dominate the other team, we want to leave out with a win. So uh, our approach doesn't change. Jonathan Fagan, as a teammate of a guy, when he says the team is not good enough, how does that hit you and other core players of a team to be told that? from a teammate or to hear that from a teammate? Obviously it's, it's disrespectful, but um, you know, everybody has a right to their opinion. It's, we feel a certain type of way about some of his actions. But uh, you know, it's, this is some, this is the, you know, the nasty part of the business that kind of gets swept under the rug. Um, you deal with these type of things and um, you know, when guys are in positions of being, you know, franchise players or whatever the case may be, uh, it's usually sometimes a nasty, you know, breakup. Like I said, that's all part of this business. Um, we know what our mindset is coming in every day. We want to come in and work, get better, uh, lead this younger group. Uh, regardless of what's going on with the team, the guys that are that are showing up, that are committed, that are, you know, bought into, you know, the task at hand, we're going to go to war with those guys. And, um Whatever those results are, we're going to win with. I mean, we're going to live with it. We're going to leave it all on the floor, and whatever happens, happens. As someone who signed here as a free agent, you, you weren't traded here. It was your choice. Do you feel betrayed? 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 Not at all. Do you, do you feel like, you know, it was unfair to you to have chosen to sign here as a free agent and then have the star player want to leave as, as it? Um, I'm, I don't feel, me personally, I don't feel betrayed at all. Um, my interest is playing with John Wall, to be brutally honest. Mm -hmm. And uh, with that being said, um, the disrespect started way before, you know, any interview. Um, just the approach to the training camp, uh, showing up the way he did, uh, the antics off the court. I mean, the disrespect started way before. So uh, this isn't something that, you know, all of a sudden happened, you know, last night. But with that being said, like I said, this is the nasty part of the business. So um, it is what it is. Thank you. The McMahon. Uh, DeMarcus, at this point, uh, is there any way that uh, that you guys could play with James Harden again? Um. I don't really think that's a question for us. I, I, I think that's a question for him. Will he ever think he could play with us again? Um, I don't know. Quite honestly, don't care. And, and, and when you talk about disrespect, what specifically are you talking about there? Um, I just feel like it's a, it's a way about, you know, handling business. Um, he can feel however he wants to feel with the organization or whatever his current situation is, but, uh, the other 14 guys in the locker room have done nothing to him. So uh, for us to be on the receiving end of some of the, you know, disrespectful comments and antics, it's, it's completely unfair to us. Um, like I said, we've done nothing to him. We've only showed up to work just like everybody else and came in ready to work. So um, like I said, it's completely unfair to the rest of the guys in the locker room. Stephanie Jones. Hey, DeMarcus, good to see you. Um, question, I asked Christian earlier, so I'm gonna ask you the same thing. Do you feel that this team, the way it's structured now, can be competitive with other elite teams in the league based on what you know you have on your roster? Um, I do, I believe we can. Um, it's all about just buying in. And uh, I think with the guys we have in the locker room right now, I think that's more than capable of happening. So, um, and besides, there's really no choice. We we can't control what's going on with James Harden and the organization and all those other things. All we can control is what we do with our efforts every day we show up to work. 
And then just a quick, another question. I've been a part of teams where things like this have happened and the remaining players will bond together. Do you feel like this is an opportunity that perhaps if James does move on to another team, that the players that are left on the roster will be further bonded and play better? I mean, it's, you've seen it happen a million times. Trades happen, teams change. It's honestly, we honestly don't have a choice but to continue to go forward. And that's what we will do. We'll take two more. Brian Barefield. DeMarcus, being a veteran in this league and having to been through some drama in the past, how do you, what, what do you tell the younger teammates that you have now in order for them to move forward after a situation like this? Control what you can control. That's all we can do. It's, it'll, the situation will play itself out. Basketball will continue to be played. It's just a bump in the road right now. Control what you can control. Come, come to come to work, ready to work every day. And that's all we can do. And last question, Adam Spalling. DeMarcus, were you glad that James wasn't there today? Was I glad? I'm not happy with the drama at all, if that's what you're trying to search for. I'm, I don't think anybody wants to deal with drama. Um, my plan this season is to come in, play basketball at a high level, and, and help elevate a team. That's been my mindset, and that's going to continue to be my mindset. Um, to get caught up in any type of drama, I, I want nothing to do with it. I'm here to play basketball, and that's it.